Hi everyone, and this is a part two to my uh, three terabyte RAID setup. First of all, I split the RAID array, obviously, so I could show you how to rebuild it, as somebody asked, and to be fair, I was going to do the follow-up video anyway. But here's just one of these terabyte hard drives from CCL. Um, hang on, have I still got CCL open? Uh, no. Right, it's just w one of the drives on its own. I do have three. So I'm now going to show you the speed of it on its own, which I never did in the previous video, just to show you how good they are. If we now... And you can see that, that I mean, that's twice I've ran that. It's usually about 118, 200, 207. You can see that straight away how good one drive is your average speed of a one terabyte hard drive is about 120 megabytes read and write speed um, so you can see that on their own these drives for 35 pound are very very fast so what we'll do now is i'm going to rebuild the raid array but i'm going to use two instead of three um, but it, the same principle applies when i'll just tell you when we're doing three how to do that so we'll, we'll first of all in osx we will click one of the drives and we'll click raid and i'll drag one drive in which is that one and two drive which is that one uh no let me just take that one away we'll use that one there and we'll use the apple one it's the same drive, same make, same code. I've not used the third one for now because that's the untitled drive. Um, I used that so that I could show you the speed of one drive. So basically, we, if you wanted to use three drives, you just drag your third drive in there as well. But we don't. I'll just remove that drive. So we're using disk one and disk three. Um, under the options tab, you get a set here um, to do the RAID block size. Now you can mess around with that. And to be fair, when you're using big files, the default is 32 kilobyte. You can try 128 or 256, but I just leave it default. And then we want, you've got mirrored RAID, stripe RAID. Now, mirrored RAID will clone disk one onto disk two. And that's a great RAID if you're wanting to make a back backup of everything. But we're wanting striped RAID, which is the fastest RAID that you can do. And um, we're going to give it a name of Final Cut Pro X Raid. And and that's it. If we hit create, we'll now get... I know the, in the previous video I used three drives, but two will give you an out, outstanding performance as well. Um, it depends how many ports you've got on your computer. Now, I will tell you that... And there you go. It's created and it's online. I will tell you that... Um, I'm not using external USB caddies. They're actually in the computer themselves. I did look into buying external RAID enclosures and stuff like that. And I did buy a couple of cheap ones for 60, 70 quid. And I put drives in them on the USB 3 port. And you still make it, it depending on the RAID array. Some of them will build their own RAID with little selector switches on the back. So you select stripe raid with the switches or you can do it the same way. But they don't work right well. They're just not as good. I highly recommend if you've got a computer or a Mac a Mac uh, workstation where you can change hard drives and stuff like that, that you put the hard drives in internal. Windows users, you can still do the same thing. You just go to disk management in your in your operating system and then you select your you can select RAID array and you drag and drop the hard drives and you choose striped or mirrored. It's dead easy um, and it works absolutely fantastic. So just for the end of the video, we'll just go test this this two terabyte RAID. So it's one less than the one I did yesterday. Um, we'll go test. This is only two terabyte now, but you'll see. I don't know what it is. I seem to go touch slower when when you're when when i've got screen flow open and i'm editing but i mean look at that that's not far off of an average ssd speed at, the, at there do you know what i mean and that's only two drives so if your budget's a bit tight you could just buy two of these and then then buy a third one later on 
Um, but bearing in mind, the more you use, the more chance you, you have of one maybe going down. And that's why I've always said that, let's say we're going to keep this RAID drive now. I would keep it spotlessly clean until it come to edit. I would edit and then straight away afterwards, I would format them again, ready for the next job. And by keeping them clean as well, you also keep them optimum performance. Because the read and write speeds that you're seeing now, you won't get if you are fill them up or quarter fill them up. And then you've been using them for a month because they will need defragging. So that's why it's great to keep them spotlessly clean, always format them, and you will always get optimum performance. And if possible, if you are going to buy external caddies and run RAID, you're best off with two. You're best off with one for your files and one for your editing, like, say, Final Cut or Lightroom or whatever. Because when your drives, let's say this drive here, we've just got... We just got, what did we get? 350 read and write or something. Your drive cannot perform at that speed when it's reading and writing from it. So if you copy and paste a 20 gig file on the same drive to a different location, you won't get 350 while it's reading it and 350 while it's writing it. It will really dramatically decrease if it's got to read and write to the same drive. So that's why you have your files on one and your your editing program on the other so it's reading from that drive at 350 on group a and it's right into group b and your performance really will absolutely fly thanks for watching please comment and subscribe